Good day everyone and welcome to the Transport for Sydney Vlogs channel. This is going to be another walkthrough video of one of the new Sydney Metro stations on the Sydney Metro City Line. We're now uh, three weeks into the opening of this new line between Chatswood and Sydney. Earlier today I covered Waterloo which is the last of the Sydney Metro walkthrough videos I filmed and I am now outside Sydney station. So yeah, in this video I'll be covering the Metro platforms here at Sydney including this new entrance here, which is off Railway Parade. See, so I'll start off here at this new entrance off Railway Parade, as this entrance had only opened when the new line here officially opened on the 19th of August. So walking up these stairs, before we enter the open gates, Next to the security bollards here, you got some benches. And between the benches and the pedestrian pathway, you also got some nice gardens here. So yeah, a few different plants, which is great to see. And you got some more on the other side of the stairs. So on this side, we've got a bench, looks like a bubbler as well. Into the right here is the bicycle shed for cyclists. Looks like some people are using the bicycle racks here, which is good to see. So all of this area here, it was closed off until uh, the Chatswell to Sydney Metro line opened on the 19th of August. So yeah, since that day, all this area here is now accessible to the public. So you've got more bicycle racks uh, inside the sheds. Yeah, this is basically where the new building ends. You've got a car park behind here for staff, I believe. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, what was to the left of the new entrance. Bit of a windy day today so again apologies if the wind does get in the way of the audio has been quite windy the past few days but it has died down a bit today still a bit windy as you can see in here but yeah not as windy as it was on Thursday so now one of the opal gates and this new entrance here which is integrated within a building also has a canopy to provide shelter and weather protection to the left of the opal gates you got pits you've got four for sydney trains two for the T4 platforms and two for the T3 platforms. So yeah, one for each platform operated by Sydney Trains. And then you got a couple for Sydney Metro as well. And then there's a seventh PID, which are for bus services. As there is a bus interchange, just further down there on Railway Parade. Alrighty, so I just tapped on. 
So what I'll do now is I'll go up the stairs and cross the footbridge onto platforms two and three. So Sydney, or the metro part of Sydney station did have an open day in December last year. However, a platform two was not accessible on that day, but it is now. So what I'll do is I'll head over to platform two and three, as I mentioned before, and do a walkthrough along platform two. It's gonna map off the line uh, between Talawong and Sydney as you walk on the footbridge. Standing on the footbridge, you do get quite a nice view of both metro platforms, as well as the skyline of the Sydney CBD. Quite a nice view. I would imagine it's quite a popular spot for photographers. So, there's something else to point out as well. While services are terminating at Sydney. Uh, all metro services are using platform one so there are actually no metro trains using platform two and this will probably be the case until uh, the extension to Bankstown opens later next year that includes even during the peak uh, peak services do run at four minute headways and even then uh, all those services are terminating off platform one So that, that was what that sign was indicating there. As you can see right now, uh, platform two says Metro services to city in Talong. However, that will change uh, to Bankstown once the extension to Bankstown opens. So I'll just do a walk along platform two now. I'll start from the city side and then work, work my way down to the existing entrance here at Sydney. So yeah, again, the pits there do read that um, Metro services are only using Platform 1 at the moment. Again, I'm anticipating that this will likely be the case until the extension to Bankstown opens. So although Platform 2 is not in use right now, uh, it looks complete and ready to go. You've got pits on Platform 2, all of them are working and directing commuters to Platform 1 where they can hop on a metro service to the city. But anyway, uh, on this side of the platform, you've got a metro si signal here. Even though it's not, it's not officially called a metro signal, I'm just referring to it as that. You also got one on the other platform, platform one as well. So nothing much down there besides a couple of benches.
so yeah nothing much to comment about on this platform uh, that you haven't seen at, at any of the other metro stations it's just a typical uh, platform features so benches with some benches have uh, the station sign uh, above them some don't bins cctv destination display screens platform numbers so yeah nothing that you haven't seen before so those are the stairs i just came down and those stairs connect with the newer northern concourse here which opened in late 2022 however this end of the new concourse so the metro side I remain closed off of course until the 19th of august when the new city metro city line opened so yeah now the entire area of the new concourse is now accessible by the public so after the stairs taking me up to the new concourse you got a few benches there station sign a map of the station area an emergency help point all that is right in front of this lift here which also connects with this new concourse here on the north side also this section here is covered up by one of the new platform canopies it looks exactly identical to the one you see opposite there on platform one the lighting's not too good right now as yeah um, the sun does shine on this side in the afternoon but yeah otherwise it's basically identical to this canopy here got a metro train to terminate pulling into platform one so i'll just film this slowly arrive then i'll make my way up to the existing concourse and then back down again To the left here, you've got the existing station building on the island of platforms two and three. And this is basically where the straight section of the platform ends. So yeah, all this area here, between where the metro platform or the metro platforms i should say ends and where the existing concourse is is all fenced off and that's because this section of the platform is curved so yeah sydney metro they want all the new stations um into the indefinite future to have straight platforms and that's been the case since the existing northwest line opened in 2019 so yeah sydney metro don't want or they don't like curved platforms so as a result when platforms one and two were closed off these platforms used to be operated by Sydney train services servicing the Bankstown line but after these platforms were closed off they extended the platform on the north side so that there would be a straight section long enough to hold a six car metro train So that was the work that took place between i think it was from the start of 2020 up to probably a couple of years ago when construction had finished so 
the reason why I'm walking up to the existing concourse is I wanted to do a full walkthrough of platform two and platform one as well. Platform one, although the metro section doesn't start here, you can actually walk along. Just like platform two, uh, platform one is fenced off where the curved section is. But people can access both metro platforms using the existing concourse here. The entrance just down there. So you just take these steps down and then basically walk along the curved section until you get to the straight section, which is where the metro platform officially starts. And you also got lift access to both metro platforms on this side as well. So yeah, if you do want step free access to the metro platforms, you can do that using the existing concourse as well as the new concourse on the north side. Just a bit of information here for you guys to read if you want. If you want to keep reading, uh, do pause the video and resume once you're finished. It's got the old canopy here, which used to be for platform one. For your safety, must be heritage metro listed. Stations and metro services are fitted with video surveillance. So yeah, it must be heritage listed, which is why it hasn't been demolished. So the curved section of platform one ends here, exactly in line with where the curved section for platform two ends as well. And this is where uh, the metro train pulls to. So while this train dwells, I'll keep on walking and just do the walkthrough of platform one. And I'll stop at the other side there near where the signal is. Got some signage here attached to this new station building for platform one. That's also underneath the where this new canopy is. is one. To the left here, we've got the lift connecting platform one with the newer concourse with an emergency help point and a map of the station right in front of it attached to this column here, which is supporting this new concourse here. For those of you that are curious to know, I'm filming this video on a Saturday. So today being a weekend, the services are running at a 10 minute frequency. So you've got the Apple gates, 
for the new entrance here of Valmai Parade. If you turn left, you'll see the toilets, which are situated within uh, this new station building here, where the entrance is. And if you keep walking, the platform continues up to just around maybe five meters after where that signal is. as a close-up look of one of these signals here. Train doors opening. So yeah, that's basically a walkthrough of the metro section of Sydney Station. That will be all that I'll be covering for this video. So I'm going to wrap this one up now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like and favorite this video, and I will see you next time.